Hello everybody and welcome to my new tutorial. I hope everything is fine. And KJMZ had a question how to make the roof tiles for this kind of Japanese tiles. Um, let's get started. So I can show you how I try to do this. Um, but first we can create a little roof. So we have a little reference for our roof something like this and then with ctrl r you can with the mouse scroll wheel go two times now we can do this two times here and then just select this times and just press it a little bit in the near so it has this kind of um, form that this Japanese kind of uh, roof has something like an arch so mostly the Japanese have some kind of these round tiles. I think this one are also the easiest one. And to do this, I will create a new circle and I will press it to 10. So you can just say how many verticals and you can put it up. So now we have 10 verticals. Press tab for edit mode sorry and F to fill it with seven you can go to top mode and the next step is to extrude it a little bit select the two edges here on the side and be sure that you have your selection to individual origin so when you press E you can just extrude it on the same something like this next thing we can scale it with s a little bit like this and then again scale it longer so now i will just rotate it that we have the right rotation and again here also press to 90 so the next thing is just go to object and select shade smooth so it will look a little bit smoother but it doesn't look so nice um, you can go here to your object data properties and select under normals auto smooth and when you press something like 15 you can see now it's it's really very nicely rounded so um, you have more. Uh, you have many possibilities how you want to do um, the roof. This kind of roof now. So the first thing that I honestly do is first scale it right. Something here, and then put it here. Maybe just a little bit longer, so you have a little bit possibility to make it little after this go to your modifier and select array modifier we make just minus one so it's on the other side and just on the count you can select how many now we can press something and arrange it again something like this don't forget to save and the next step is just select everything with a and control r to make three kind of verticals again in it but first i just copy it so i can show you many other ways how you can do this also but now we just stay with this kind of three i think three should be enough and the easiest way how to do this is just to press one and then nine so it goes to the other side and then you can go here to your snapping tool press r to rotate this so but first maybe we can do this a little bit longer so press one and nine to go to the other side from the top 
left on the front view. Press again R to rotate it. So, and when you want to make some kind of like an arch movement, you can just go to wireframe mode. Be sure that you edit uh, that you select a proportional editing, and then you can just select with B and in wireframe mode, so you can select all the uh, all the other faces behind. Select the middle face, and when you press G, you can see now it will move accordingly to this proportional editing. You can um, change this proportional editing with the mouse wheel, so you can see how it uh, will move. So try just a little bit to make some kind of arch, maybe something like this, and maybe you can select also just this middle one and put it a little bit more. So now you have the first kind of roof tile. Just scale it again a little bit right. And when you want, you can copy this, rotate it 180 degrees. When you also want, you can also uh, directly use the mirror modifier, but honestly, it's not so much work to do this manually. The only thing is that you just need to make it correctly. But now you have also the roof. And we can just scale this one. And you have your kind of Japanese roof tile. Um, when you want to make some little bit textures in it, um, I really like to select the verticals. So you can just press shift and press double click and you select the whole meshes, also the whole vertical, sorry. And when you press control B, you can scale it. You can see with the mouse wheel, you can add more verticals, but for me, one is enough, press OK, and again, it need to be individual origins and you can um, deselect proportional editing. So when you now press E and scale it inwards, you can see that it has some this kind of textures. You can also scale it outwards when you want, but inwards looks a little bit better, I think. Now it has more styles like this um, kind of roof tiles. Now this is more like this style here and the other one is I think more like the other styles but I like this one more because it has more textures but it has also more verticals so when you want to use it for a game maybe it's too much. And the next thing is when you want to make this kind of roof here this one is also very easy. I will just add a cube, scale it Put it in this size. So something like this. I will select these two edges again and press Control B. And again, put these three verticals in it. Select proportional editing and press G to just put it a little bit down. So, and here also just a little bit. You can just press with the mouse scroll, you can change the proportional editing. So this one looks better. Go to objects and shade it smooth. Don't forget to go to your object properties and say auto smoothing you can just press something like 15 now it also looks very nice very sharp the next step is select all the edges and press ctrl b same like the roof tiles and now you can also be sure that you are on individual origin you can press e and then oh sorry you need to deselect proportion editing so you can press e and or you can scale it inwards i will scale it inwards or outwards so you have some kind of texture also here something like that you can use like the same 
method for making these here also. So if you want to make this, I also create just a cube and put it maybe some here. Extrude it a little bit, not too much. Again, take the edges from the side so it doesn't look so sharp, but more edges, it's a little bit more um, heavier for your computer so or for your game project if you want to use it for a game object. Again, shade it smooth, auto smooth to 50, something like this. And now we can just press a thing because it's just on, well, I put also free, then I can just rotate it. But first, sorry, I just scale it a little bit longer. So it's, it's the same size. So when I now put it here, I can just select again these borders, add proportional editing and just try to align them how I want it. Okay, and maybe this one, just put it back here. With G you can just go back and you want, you can make some kind of arc here. But we can also press E, oh sorry, deselect proportion editing, press E and then S to scale it and can do some kind of top movement. So it looks a little bit different. Nice. If you have the problem that now the object um, transform, you can just go to object, set the origin, origin to geometry. And then shift D to copy it and put it on this side here. And the same thing, rotate it with 180 degrees and put it here. Just a little bit. So. And also if you just want to create some kind of this decoration here or, or the part of this roof, um, it's the same how I did the other one. So the first that I also created here, the copy, you can just use the same. So you can just scale this one very little. Maybe something like this. Go to bounding center. Oh, sorry, not in editor mode. And this one is perfect. Now we can just align this here and go to your modifier. 16 is now too much. Just make something like, oh, for uh, maybe 13. No, 12. I think 12 will be enough. Okay. And you can copy this now. Again. Q minus 90. Just be careful because this one now looks a little bit up. But I don't think it will such a great problem. And you have now this Japanese roof tile. I just need to scale it a little bit better. So I just select both. Press R and to scale it more here. Um, if you don't see in the same uh, I have here on my option cavity on. So now without cavity it looks a little bit smoother, but you can also just select the cavity here. 
and everything else. So I think that will be, so this one is the first kind of roof style. Um, I work also currently with the same type, so I just created here, I can show you this, this kind of modular selection for some kind of Japanese city and that's the same kind of method I used. I just used this kind of tile. I did it just a little bit more stretched so it's not like... I can show you this. Where is my other house? Oh, maybe it's in it. Oh, yes. It's not kind of this round. I just stretch it a little bit so when you create a new roof you can just create a circle again. I just selected with 10 for me. I think 10 is in all right. Maybe 8 or 6 because I don't think you will see it so many times the roof. It's just just to make it more realistic but you can select now more like these two sides oh, sorry i can select these two sides again individual origin so it will just be on the same size now you can just move this very out and scale this again very long so you have this kind of texture like the other one and press s and sorry y to straighten the line and again when you just do this kind of shade smoothing and you go to your modif uh, to your properties and smooth it it will always look very nice very beautifully and from here you have really the possibilities to make this kind of designs again so you can add more circles with control b you can make them bigger smaller and then you can extrude them or you can go inwards i honestly go inwards looks a little bit better but you have this kind of texture that you have the possibility to do this kind of work here you can also make the same on the other side if you want so you have this one so you have many possibilities to make this kind of roof. Uh, I will also try to make a new tutorial for the Japanese fortress with this kind of roof tiles. And if you have any question, please write a commentary and um, please say what I can make better um, because I'm very new to YouTube and every criticism is welcome. And thank you really much for your help and for the subscribers. And I hope you have a wonderful day. See you.